Have you ever wondered where heavy elements come from? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, stars serve as cosmic forges, crafting elements through nuclear fusion. This process sees light elements combining under extreme heat and pressure to form heavier ones. Picture a star like a colossal furnace, ceaselessly fusing hydrogen atoms to form helium, then carbon, oxygen, and so forth. The largest of these stellar giants have the capacity to create elements all the way up to iron. Yet the cosmic assembly line doesn't stop there. There exist elements far heavier than iron, elements that are integral to the world around us. But the birthplace of these elements is not within the heart of a star. For a star, attempting to forge elements heavier than iron is akin to signing its own death warrant. Such an attempt triggers a catastrophic supernova explosion. However, elements heavier than iron need a different birthplace, as stars trying to create these elements are doomed to collapse in a supernova explosion. So where do elements heavier than iron come from? That's a question that has tickled the curiosity of scientists for quite some time. The answer, or at least part of it, lies in the intricate dance of atoms in a process known as the R process. In this fascinating process, atoms rapidly capture multiple neutrons in a dense, hot environment. Imagine atoms in a cosmic mosh pit, grabbing onto neutrons like they're the last slice of pizza at a party. This process happens so swiftly that the atom doesn't even have time to undergo a beta decay, which typically would convert a neutron into a proton. The result? The birth of an atom of a heavier element. But where does this atomic dance take place? Well, core collapse supernovae were early contenders for our process production. These stellar explosions occur when a massive star has exhausted its nuclear fuel. The star's core collapses under its own immense gravity, triggering a supernova explosion. In the mayhem that follows, conditions are just right for the R process to occur. In these extreme environments, atoms are subjected to an intense bombardment of neutrons, leading to the creation of heavier elements. That's right, the very gold in your wedding ring, the platinum in your car's catalytic converter, and even the uranium-fueling nuclear reactors all could have been birthed in the heart of a supernova. However, the story doesn't end here. While core collapse supernovae certainly play their part, they're not the only cosmic events capable of hosting the R process. Observations of light and gravitational waves from colliding neutron stars have shown us that these dramatic cosmic events are also a significant source of heavy elements. In these violent celestial collisions, neutron stars merge to form a black hole, spewing out jets of particles and radiation. These extreme conditions are another perfect venue for the art process to take place, leading to the creation of even more heavy elements. But observations of light and gravitational waves from colliding neutron stars have proven that these cosmic events are a significant source of heavy elements. Yet researchers have not entirely ruled out supernovae as sites of heavy element creation. Let's turn our attention to a specific type of supernova, the collapser. These are rapidly rotating massive stars that explode with such ferocity when they can no longer sustain nuclear fusion. This spectacular explosion ultimately leads to the creation of a black hole. Now imagine the core of this star. As it collapses under the immense pressure, the outer layers of the star don't just disappear into nothingness. Instead, they form what's known as an accretion disk, Picture a spinning top, with the top representing the collapsing core and the surrounding spin representing the accretion disk. This accretion disk is not just a simple spinning mass of star stuff, it's a hotbed of activity where the conditions might be ripe for the creation of heavy elements through the R process. Remember the R process? It's that series of reactions where atoms rapidly capture multiple neutrons. The conditions within the accretion disk of a collapser are a cosmic pressure cooker. The environment is dense, the temperature is high and the time scales are rapid, all the ingredients needed for the R process to take place. This means that the accretion disk could potentially serve as a forge, a cosmic crucible, where elements heavier than iron are born. So, while the core of the collapser is busy becoming a black hole, the surrounding accretion disk might be creating the heavier elements that make up our universe. Gold, platinum, uranium, all these could potentially be the products of this spectacular stellar event. This is a fascinating possibility, isn't it? The death of a star leading to the birth of elements. A cosmic cycle of creation and destruction, all happening in the heart of a collapser. This suggests that certain supernovae could indeed be sites for the creation of heavy elements. So how do we find evidence of these heavy element-creating supernovae? This question is the driving force behind a great deal of ongoing research in the field. 
You see, it's a bit like solving a cosmic mystery, with scientists playing the role of interstellar detectives. To identify potential supernovae that could be sites of our process element creation, researchers are looking at two key pieces of evidence, light and gravitational waves. Light, in this context, refers to the electromagnetic radiation produced by these cataclysmic events. By studying the spectrum of this light, scientists can discern the chemical composition of the supernova remnants, including the presence of heavy elements. But light isn't the only clue. Gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by the most violent cosmic events, also provide valuable insights. These waves were first directly detected in 2015, and their study has opened a new window into the universe. In the case of supernovae, the waves can reveal information about the mass, spin, and energy of the exploding stars, all crucial factors in determining whether the conditions for our process element creation were present. Now you might be wondering, how do we detect these light and gravitational waves? Well, that's where sophisticated observatories come into play. These structures, scattered across the globe and even in space, are equipped with powerful telescopes and detectors designed to capture and analyze these faint signals from the far reaches of the cosmos. But this is just the beginning. As technology advances and our understanding of the universe deepens, researchers continue to refine their methods and develop new strategies for finding these elusive supernovae. And the stakes couldn't be higher, because if we can pin down where these heavy elements come from, we can begin to unravel the complex story of our universe's evolution. We might even answer some of the most profound questions about the origins of life itself. This research could revolutionize our understanding of where the universe's heavy elements come from. The universe is full of mysteries, and the origin of heavy elements is one of them. We've journeyed through the stellar nurseries where nuclear fusion births lighter elements, to the dramatic deaths of stars and supernovae explosions, where elements up to iron find their genesis. We've delved into the chaotic dance of neutron stars, where the R process rapidly captures neutrons to birth elements beyond iron, and we've peeked into the heart of collapsers, rapidly rotating massive stars that explode into supernova and black holes, potentially creating conditions ripe for R process element formation. But as with all great mysteries, every answer only begets more questions. The cosmic cauldron that cooks up these heavy elements is still not fully understood. Yet, it's this very enigma that fuels our curiosity and drives us to probe deeper into the cosmos. As research continues, we look forward to unraveling more of the universe's mysteries and deepening our understanding of the cosmos.